Hello viewers, thank you for watching Lifeboat TV on YouTube. The movie you are about to watch will bless your life, transform your destiny and take you to another step of your glory. Please make sure you do the needful wherever this movie touches your life. We beg you that you please subscribe, like, share and also comment. We believe as you are doing this, you are giving us a kind of encouragement to continue in this work. Thank you so much. We love you. God bless you. Lifeboat TV committed to the preaching of Lifeboat Jesus. Is what you've been doing. You can't turn me to a dummy in this house. Give that phone to me. I cannot give you my phone <laughs> unless you tell me what you want to do with it. Woman, you are looking for trouble. Give that phone to me. Sweetheart, I don't understand you anymore. Why will you be monitoring calls on my phone, my movement, my conversation with everyone? Why? What's your problem? Leave Let me, me have that phone. Leave me alone. Let me have it. Leave me alone. Let me have it. that phone to me because I don't hold you any explanation I don't hold you any explanation I've been telling you I am not under any obligation I don't hold you any explanation I don't hold you any explanation give that phone to me right away or oh, else yes. or oh, else yes. oh, yes, what or oh, else yes, what I'm so sure you cannot beat me you cannot beat me. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with you? What is your problem? <laughs> I can't beat you. Okay? But you can't understand me because I am not a fool. I am not Yomi that sit by and watch his wife moving around with another man. And it all started. All started with conversation. Phone calls. I am just. I am the man of this house. Woman, give that phone to me right away. Give it to me. Let me have that phone. Give me my phone. No. Give me my phone. Why will you collect phone if, from if, her? If you move give me closer. my phone, girl. If you move Mama, closer. Give me my phone. Uh, what try is, me. What, what try me. Is? Try me. Try give me. me phone, I will show friend. it give to me you. My phone. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. I could see that you are chatting with different people. Uh -huh. And what's your business if, if I'm chatting with anybody? Just give me my phone. I don't have your time. Give hmm. me my phone. Henceforth, this phone is under my watch. Uh -huh. Even when you are not at home. Just give me my phone. I don't have your time. That is none I of your business. I don't have your time. Give me my phone. Forget about it. I am not giving phone. this phone to you. Woman, if you ever try that nonsense with me, you will see the real me. Hey, look at them. 
they'll be hiding under the pretense of a Christian sister. My friend almost lose his life because of stupid carelessness. I trust. I will never, never sit I do and watch you tread the path of your friend and, and you kill me. Oh, this is as a result of your friend issue. Oh, Chas, can you handle such as that? Answer me. I'm asking you, can you handle such as that? Oh, you want to be monitoring my cause, Abby? Good for you. Eh? Good for you. Just remember, don't forget that I am a Christian. And I can never and will never cheat on you. Ah, what I don't do when I was single, I cannot start doing that now. What's your problem? <laughs> Why do you turn to this? What's your problem? Yeah, me oh. that foolish shaman was kicking not spiritual than you. Eh? Tell me, when that man, that man, you remember, that man was all over her. All over her. But just, why are you sounding like this? You are nine know that Kike was attacked by the devil. Mm. You carelessness. Mm. Huh? Which means anybody could be attacked. I tell you, anybody, including just, you. Just give me my phone. No. Just give me my phone. Forget about it. Okay. See what you have turned me to. I'm now a laughing stock and a reference point because of your stupid and careless lifestyle. You can't continue to talk to me like that. I take an exception for that. <sighs> So, you are still showing pride, right? You still have the audacity to open your mouth wide and talk to me like that. Oh, I got it. Am I not a fool here? Yeah? Whether you are a fool or not, I'm less concerned. In fact, that's the whole palaver. Ah, ah, are you talking to me like that? Are you? Allow this to destroy our already good mood. <sighs> the one that can shout, the one that can beat you, the one that will put all the blames on you is dead already. All of us are new creatures. Avenger, Avenger, the Avenger. Avenger, Avenger, the Avenger. Avenger, Avenger, the Avenger. You are still sitting here. Eh? Go into the kitchen and bring my food. Your meal or what? You give me my phone first. And if truly you are starving, you are free to go to the kitchen, prepare your meal by yourself, and take care of yourself, period. You you mean you mean I should go into the kitchen by myself? By myself? Woman, by myself. How dare you? You want to beat me? Do you want to beat me? Just go ahead. Go ahead and beat me. Beat me. At least that will make me to know that you have totally backslide. Beat me. Lua Kenne, I'm sorry. You know, I, I can't do without my meal. Shebi, you know, Abi. I can't do without my meal now. I'm sorry. Please, go into the kitchen and bring my food. I am hungry. Please. You think I'm joking? Oh, I think you know how to frustrate someone. <clears throat> look at look, look at me. Eh? I, 
I was doing the gentle type before, simply because our children are around. See, now they are away on mm. holidays. I'm ready to give you whatever you demand and show you how tactical I am when it comes to this. You, give me my phone. Can me, can me, can me. <laughs> Don't allow this to escalate into what you cannot handle. Go into the kitchen. I am telling you, go into the kitchen and bring my food. Give me my phone now. Why on earth will you seize my phone? Simply because I'm chatting with someone. Don't you see that you are overreacting on this issue? The devil attacked our friend's home and we stood in the gap. And you allow the devil to use you to attack your own home. What is wrong with you? Are you talking to me? Are you referring to me as being used by the devil? Now the devil is here. And you will feel the devil. You, you feel the devil. You feel the devil. Feel the devil. Sit down. Talking about what happened today at Charles' place. Do you know what it means? What does it mean? I, I don't understand. Two things. Number one, the devil wants to use that incident to arouse Mr. Flesh in both of us. Um, my dear, how possible do you think it is for a dead to respond when someone is reeling insults on him. It's not possible. Except the person is only pretending to be dead. Fine. Correct, that's fantastic. That is an illustration of someone who is dead to sin. Dead to flesh. Dead to the world and the things of this world. You see, there is no amount of stone hauling towards a corpse that can have effect on him. He's dead. He's dead. The truth is, Mr. Flesh will visit. The devil will come. You know, to check if a Christian is really dead to sin or not. Mm. If he's dead to sin, he's an overcomer. If not, it could be disastrous. So, what is number two, my pastor? <laughs> yeah. It's about our marriage. You see, the devil is so wise that um, Sometimes, they will cunningly want to bring a bad memory back. In actual fact, the devil wants to open afresh our healed wound. He wants to bring back afresh the memory of the past turbulent years. But he has failed. See that? I want us to revisit these past three years of our marriage. Yes, because we still have a lot of things to do if we really want this marriage to move on efficiently. Avenger, the Avenger. Avenger, Avenger, the Avenger. You caused it. You, you made me pity. Eh? You, you know, Kemi, I've never done this before in all years of our marriage. But you pushed me. You, 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 you made me pity. You pushed me. You caused it. Jas, you beat me. No, 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 no. I ask for what? Ah, Daddy, my name is Jas. What are you going to? I don't have. No, 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 no. Give my money. Give my money. Give my money. I will not take it. Oh, God. Ah, no, I will not take Shut it. Shut up. Shut up. I'm not. Okay, okay, okay. Say what you want to say. See, 
You see people are looking at you. Uh -huh. Give yourself brain this time. Oh, around. you don't know I don't have brain. When you give my hand, I will not I'm give warning. me my money. Come on, give me my money. I don't want to go. Give me my money, Janet. What was the money? You go and follow your salary. You still come and collect my money. Give me my money. Dibo. See, let me tell you something. Dibo. Get in some two year points. See, and you don't learn no level. See, I own you. What's wrong with you? That one did not concern me. Give me my money. My friend, you don't let me See, I will call the old one on your head. I will call the old one on your head. Give me my money. Don't let me do this. Why are you beat me? Why are you beat me? Give me my money. Yes. Hey, Tabio. Hey, Tabio. Hey, Tabio. Give me my money. I'll beat you. Oh, no, you're a stupid man. You're a useless man. I said you're a useless man. Give me my money. Give me my money. Give me my money. Ah, he's a stupid man. A useless man. A worthless man. Tell this man to give me my money. Do we give my money? Can't you hear what you want to She's telling me I'm going to Come, come, come and beat me. Oh, Let me show you all what the dog okay. that you are. Okay. Ah, come and beat okay. me. You are calling me a dog. Yes, you are a dog. Okay. You are calling me a dog. You are a dog. Give me my money. You are calling me a dog. Yes. You are calling me a dog. Yes. Ah, ah, please. You want to beat me? See this man. This God forsaken man. Eh? He will leave me and the children. He will go hunt and squander his own salary. He will still take my own as my as 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 the money I have so far to create you. He will still take it and go and squander. Then he's about to give my money. He will not give my money. We die here. Wait. 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 We die Wait. here. So, ah. Mama, you mean this is ah. your husband? Yeah. This is let God forsake him. Ah. He's the one. Ah. He's the one. May God forsake him. Yeah. No, no, no. Allah, do go. Allah, do go. You will give me my money. Are you not give Christian? me my money. Yeah. So because I'm a Christian, I should have that a fool. Ah. Abby, I am mean, not foolish. Ah, he has to give me my money. Give me my money. Hey, shut up, shut give up. Me my hey, money. Give me my See, money. Let me tell you, let me tell you something. Sorry, I need to learn. No learn. So you and your money, you and hey. your money, and everything hey. you have, hey. I own you. That's so do whatever you want. Yes, okay. Do whatever you want. God, what sort of nonsense is this? Ah, please, come, 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 Wait, let me tell you something. Let me tell you. Ah! Why, ma? Her family! Her family! It's okay. That man is my problem. In fact, he's my only problem. No, ma. Hmm. Your husband is not your problem. He's not. <laughs> How do you mean? That man has been a thorn in my flesh since the two days of our miserable marriage. He drinks. He womanizes, he gambles, he leaves I and the children as in the responsibility all in my care. And that is not all, oh, he's a wife with her. Ah, I have suffered. I have suffered so much. Ah. Sorry, madam. Okay. But do you remember you once told me that your husband gave you 30,000 naira for shopping? Eh, that was when he was still in his right senses. Before he, 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 he changed his citizenship to the kingdom of the devil. Citizenship? Yes! Citizenship! Before he claimed to be in Christ. But now he has been translated to the kingdom of the devil. That man. But you have to take it easy. Mm. So you mean it wasn't like this at the beginning of your marriage? No, it was not. It suddenly just changed, and since then it has been terrible. Ah! Mm. Okay, ma. Okay. Mommy, ma. This is what we are going to do. We need to talk about this. And the time is not on our side. Moreover, you may have customer at any time. I would like us to meet at a retreat center to talk about this. Or don't, don't you want to talk about it? It's okay if you don't want to. Okay. At your convenient time. Maybe I will send the address to your phone. So, by God's grace. So, please, but before then, when you get home, I want you to start reading Ephesians chapter 5. Start reading it. And whenever he's 
doing or misbehaving. Just try and be calm, please. Don't allow any man to, to, to destroy your beautiful face with his punches, oh. Eh? Please, eh? It is well with you. Please, take it easy. The Lord will be with you. The Lord will intervene in the name of Jesus. It is well with you. So, please, eh? I, I, just be expecting my, my, my calls. I will, I will call you tonight by God's grace. I will call you tonight. And at the same time, I will send the address to you. Uh, God bless you, ma. So, my regards to Emmanuel. So, take care of yourself. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, thank you so much, ma. Oh, God bless you. Oh, Thank God. you so much for the uh, timely intervention because I would have killed that man. It's okay, ah. it's okay. Well, it's God be with you. Uh. Amen, God man. bless you. I will call you later. I will put a call through. No problem. Later about the retreat center. No problem. Thank you, man. Thank you for saving that man. It's that man. <laughs> it's okay. I've dealt with him. It's it's okay. Ah. No problem, sir. For me, Come ma. Please avoid further troubles. Yes. Oh. Yes. Hey, hey. We should bring my money. <laughs> no problem. Yes. All right, all right. Take care of yourself. All right. Thank you. Take care of yourself. That's woman. Kick care the counselor. Anyway, I'm not surprised. You have always been pastor missus. Oh, oh, Bella, right? Which pastor missus? See, as a Christian, we must all come to the full stature of Christ. We must live the life of the word of God. And we must be able to teach others what has become our life. Anyway, but wait to how could a man, a Christian for that matter, be beating his own wife? <laughs> <laughs> Get me. Hmm. A Christian cannot beat his wife. What do you mean? Are you telling me that man is not a Christian? Yes. He may be a Christian, but maybe uh, he's, he's no more a Christian. Because the name Christian, what does it imply? Kemi, I want to be polite enough. Please, who is a Christian? I think a Christian is someone that goes to church because he or she believes in Jesus. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry for that though. But the issue of Christianity is more than that. It's beyond name. Christianity is not in name. The name Christian is not a religious claimed name, but a life based. You see, the disciples in the Bible, the reason why people called them Christian is because they saw them living, acting, relating with people as Christ Jesus did when he was on earth and by looking at them they observed that mm, those people have been living with Jesus and they called them Christian and that is how people will look at you and say ah, this one is a Christian because of the way you are relating with them so a Christian therefore is someone who confessed Jesus as his or our Lord and personal Savior, then live a crucified life. He lives or she lives the life of Christ every day. Anyway, I know this before, just that I don't have the light as this. But yet, the mystery still remains. The man goes to church at least. Yes, he may be going to church. But if he is not a Christian, then he is not a Christian. Someone may be going to church and yet not living the life of Christ. And let me tell you, if someone is still going to church and is being controlled by the flesh, then that one is not a Christian. A Christian cannot be controlled by Mr. Flesh, no. But I tell you, friend, I don't pray for this experience in my life because if my husband dares it to beat me, uh, <laughs> I tell you, the marriage is dear. Uh, no one on earth can appeal to me about it. No, uh, no. Can me, God forbid. God has given us a loving husband. We have loving husbands. 
And by the special grace of God, we are all doing fine in our marriage. Habi, we are Christian. It can never happen. And it will never happen in Jesus' name. Ah, which direction is, is that your thoughts going? Please let me know. This is where it ends. Charles, I regret marrying you. Our marriage ends today. You beat me. You beat me. This is where it ends. Can me. Can me, please. Please, can me. Avenger, please. Avenger, the Avenger. Lord Jesus, we bless you for tonight. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for being the Father over our home. Holy Spirit, we ask that you teach us your ways. That you increase our love for each other. That you help us to grow in faith. Father, we pray that our home shall be heavens on earth. Thank you, Father. We will sleep well. We will wake up well. We commit this house into your hand, O oh Lord. We pray that safety shall be ours in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, have a nice night rest. Thank you, too. You sleep. I want, I want to check the, the kids. Oh, no. Let me go. <laughs> it's my duty to check. Who, who told you it's your duty? It's not, it's not your duty alone. You have been doing that over the time. Sleep. Let me cover you. I'll check that. Sleep. Sleep. Thank you. Sleep, love. You know I've apologized to you. Please, please, allow this to slide. It was a mistake. You know it was a mistake. And oh, I, I won't, I won't repeat it again. Huh? Even if you want to repeat it, it will never be on me. Do you remember you once told me? That you will not beat me because you may not stop beating me. You say you may not be able to restrain yourself again. And me, I cannot afford abusive marriage. I cannot die of beating. I'm too young for that. Okay? Kemi. Kemi. I, I said it was a mistake. You, you know my work is delicate. I could be fired. I'm sure you can't sit by and see me lose my job. And one more thing, don't forget my position in the church as a deacon. Eh? As, that, as a deacon in the church. You want to keep your own head and make me to lose mine. Charles, it's not going to be possible. You should have thought of that before you did it now, Oga. Ah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I will make it up to you. Tell me, what do you want me to do? Eh? What, what, what do you want me to do? What is your expectation? Eh? I don't need anything from you. In fact, I vowed that you are not going to touch me again. It is over between us. <sighs> ah. Which kind of touch are you talking about? Forget about it. Don't have your time. Just let me be, please. Okay. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, how are you? Fine, right, sir. You have a sister, sir. He or she? She. Better are you? Okay, sir.
Precious. Sir. What are you doing here? Sir, I've come to make a confession. I want to make a request, sir, please. Well, I don't expect to see you here. But um, you, you can speak on them all here. Yes, sir. Sir, um, I, I, I actually lied about the dream. I only wanted to get your attention so that I, I, I could take you to my father. Okay, go, go on, go on. So, oh, on the last day that you died, um, my, my, my father actually wanted to give you a concussion so that, so that, um, so, so, so that you would, you would have sex with me and then forget your wife and your children so, so that you would love only me. Oh, precious. The heart is so deep indeed. So, if not for what happened, I would have been ensnared. But thank God. Is that all? I'm so sorry. I'm deeply sorry. Sir, I, I, I only wanted to leverage the misunderstanding between you and your wife so that I could I could have my way with my craftiness and, and I then have you to myself. But sincerely, sir, sincerely, sir, I've been gravely beaten. I've faced my consequences for the past six months, sir. I'm so sorry because my father died that very day immediately you left, sir. My father died. <laughs> well, um, that's your problem. Uh, I, I don't feel any pity for you. Because you walked here and I trusted you. I thought you were a Christian. Anyway, it's not your fault. I was the one who cast my PL to the peak. Now, leave my office. Oh, sir, please don't let me leave. Don't let me take my leave. I'm, I beg of you, sir. Sir, sir, I have no father. I have no mother. I'm the only one left. For the past six months, I've been living a miserable life, sir. As I said, sir, I'm now, I'm now indeed born again. I'm born again, indeed. And I'm deeply sorry. I, I, I will never cross my boundaries again, sir, please. I don't care. Oh. I'm not interested in whether you are born again or you have made a good decision. See, all I know is that you cannot walk with me again. Never ever. Please, sir. And you cannot come around me. No, precious, precious, yes, precious, yes, precious. Yes, Leave my office. Yes, Get out of my office. Please. Get out. My sister, as I have said earlier, you see, as a woman of the house, if you want your husband to be right, you also must be right. Ma, I am right in every way and in every sense. Ah. Uh -uh. I cook his meal, I take care of our children, I take care of the house, even the finances. Must he kill me before he realizes my worth? Mommy Emmanuel, marriage is more than that. It's more than all those things. How do you know? It is possible. You may be the one cooking his meals, finances the house, taking care of the bills, but if you lack humility and submission, Forget about a loving husband and a peaceful home. Okay, let me ask you this question. Whenever you are performing your duty as the wife, as the woman of the house, what are the thoughts that runs at the background of your mind? I mean, what are your reactions?
Ah, uh -huh. why are you eating the food now? Is it your food? This is not your food. It's your daddy's food. Ah, uh ah. -huh. <laughs> See this child I'm even talking to. All you and your father know how to do is to eat food. Is to eat food. Jangkoyo is to eat food. But how to cook or how to assist the person cooking, two of you do not know how to do. I will go to work like your father did. I will come back. I will use my money to go to the market. I will come back to prepare the food. Oh, self. After I will come back, I use his useless mouth to eat the food. And they will say I'm not a good wife. Jangkoyo. It's not my fault. Ah. Can't you see I'm the one suffering here? Ma. Mommy, man. No. But the man we are talking about here, is he not your husband? Yes, he is. Is he not the father of your children? What? Didn't he... But what? But what, my sister? Listen to me. Even culture demands respect from a responsible wife to her husband. Regardless of anything. Have you ever wondered the reason why our mothers have a loving and lasting marriage than hers in this generation? That's because the husband understands responsibility. <laughs> it is not the useless and miserable ones we have today. My sister, and it is not like that too. Yes. Because the father then, they, they, they see their wife as slave. And they use them as slave. Yes, they see them as property, and they use them as property. Unlike today, our brothers understand that we are help meets. We are supposed to be helping each other. In fact, we have some brothers that are still helping their wives in 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 house chores. Yes, Christian brothers, we have them all around now. At the early stage of your marriage, is this how your husband behave? I mean, financially, has he been supporting you? Yes, ma'am. Come back here. I don't know where you are going to go. Let's finish this question. Oh, so this is why you want to do it, Abby. Don't worry. I also have my money. So if it's because of what you are buying and giving me that is causing this problem, you can keep your money. Do you keep your mouth shut? Emila, God knows I'm trying my best. God knows. God is my witness. Now, you know that I'm collecting less than 80,000 Naira. And here you are, collecting more than 120,000. And you have a big shop. And you want to compare our spending? Please, spare me all that. Is that the reason why you don't want to give me 50k? Just ordinary 50k for shopping. Oh, ingrate. Useless man. Yeah, I'm now a useless man. I'm a useless man, Abby. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I know uh, you are never satisfied. You are never satisfied. You have your money, Chebi, you know. You have your money. So you can do whatever you like with your money. But there is no problem. There is no problem. I will make sure I am not giving you any money again. Chebi, you have your money. Abi, you have your money. Go ahead and spend. Spend your money the way you like. Shameless woman. Hey, come again. Come, come again. Come again. What is it? Wait. You, me. you mm -hmm. call me shameless. You called me shameless. Are you not shameless? <laughs> Are you not shameless? Are you not shameless? See, I'm trying my best though. Mm -hmm. I am trying. Only God knows that I'm trying my best. You, this girl, and your life. I'm trying my best not to touch you. But all you are trying to do is for me to beat you. Eh? I will not touch you. I will leave you to the hand of God. Sure you get? I will leave you to the hand of God. You get my point? Leave my clothes. Ah. Who knows if you are even possessed? Boy, you won't see a leg beggar. I don't even know. Leave my If own. I don't leave it to call, she will have Will you beat me? Ah. Try it. Beat me. You know what you are trying to do? You are trying to unleash the beast in me. Oh. And if I do that, you will not like yourself. Oh, hey, you will yeah. not like yourself, oh. Hey, I'm telling yeah. you. Okay. Hey, yeah. Okay. Hey. Okay. So you're a beast. Okay. I did not know I was living with a beast. Ah, sorry, sir. Hey, sir. Sheroko Shenia, Tamasi. Say you a beast. You call me Sheroko Yes. A me? Yes. Sheroko Yes. What will you do? What will you do? Yes. Oh, Pamio! I'm not doing it. Oh, Pamio! What a pity. 
<laughs> that is the beginning of our troubles. Mm. And it's truly my fault. It is well, my dear sister. It is well. You caused it. You pushed your husband to what he is today. Oh, Mima, you pushed your husband. And if you gathered 10 men, I mean men that beat their wives, eight out of those 10 were pushed by their wife, just like you. Although that is not an excuse for them. Because God will bring them to judgment if they do not repent. Because they are, they are tampering and mishandling the handmaid of God. God will judge them unless they repent. <laughs> Ma, do you think my home can be normal again? Yes, it can be normal again. You can still enjoy God in your home. Because that is where his hope of raising godly seed is. So he's so much interested in, in, in your marriage. Just give him chance. Allow him into your life, into your home. That is the first process to your healing. Eh? Mommy, ma. You see, submission is the key here. You need to submit to your husband. If you want to enjoy a peaceful home, then learn how to submit to your husband in everything. There is no man. I mean, there is no man on earth that will not love a, a, a submissive woman. Although, your submission is not the reason for him to love you. And for him to love you is not because you are submissive to him. But because it is very important, you must submit to him, regardless of all. And I know God will help you. Hmm? You are Kemi. Are you me? If any. I'm sorry for hitting you. And you have to stop punishing me this way. See, I, I promise never to raise my voice against you. Let alone hitting you. Please. I will never do that again. I know I've disappointed you by raising up my hand to beat my wife. I am the devil. But please, save my home so that this home will gain its frequency again. Ah, have mercy on me, Lord. Please save me. Kike Lomo. Answer me. Auntie me! Aburue! <laughs> it's a surprise! <laughs> I came home yesterday night. No, it's a lie. You mean you're around? Yes. Praise God! Praise God, Auntie me! <laughs> so, you are in Nigeria? Ah, <laughs> wow! Praise God! Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, 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 where are you now? I'm at home. So can you come over, please? Ah, why not? Quickly, come, 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 come. I can't wait to see you. Motimi be a bear. Motimi bo. Motimi bo. Motimi. Praise God. Hey, baby. Hello, Ifemi. Sweetheart, how are you? I'm fine. 
Guess what? What? Auntie is around. Auntie Sarah. Wow, Auntie Sarah. Thank God, oh, hallelujah. Yes, I, I just want to go and visit her now. Why now? Ah, don't you think we should go together? Please, now. You know it's been a while. Please, I'll just go and come back. Then we'll go later, please. But uh, do, do you think it's right that way? No, now. You know it's been five years. Please, let me go. Then we'll go later. Please, now. Okay, okay. No problem. See you later. My regards to her. Thank you. Ha! Praise God. Avenja, Avenja, the Avenja. Avenja, Avenja, the Avenja. Avenja, Avenja, the Avenja. Avenja, Avenja, the Avenja. For the law, and he will save you. We cry out, Abba, Father, deliver us from the things that want to steal.